ChatGPT has transformed the lives of many people, including myself, and has gained tremendous popularity. It's able to help people be more productive, but also create new things too. Now, due to ChatGPT's popularity, it's a little bit of a problem. There are times where you are simply not able to get onto ChatGPT because there are too many people using it. I suppose it's a good problem for OpenAI to have, but it is a bit of a problem regardless. Because I'm in Dubai, I'm able to kind of bypass that because people in the West are typically asleep when I'm using ChatGPT. Although at night, when people are at work, it can get a little bit busy for me. So what I'm going to show you in this circumstance is something that you can use that is developed by OpenAI, which in my opinion is as good, if not maybe better than OpenAI. So what I'm talking about in this video is OpenAI Playground, and it is the API that ChatGPT is kind of created on the back of. So you will start by clicking through to there, and of course there will be a login process. Once you've done that, you will just be able to log in, and it looks slightly different. Now, one of the reasons I think it's slightly better than ChatGPT is because there's a range of different ways that you can use it. As you can see by the models down here, there's different models. So some of them are better, like Curie here for language translation, uh, Babbage is good for classification, uh, semantic searches, and then there's other things too, which is good for, for keywords. We're gonna keep it on DaVinci, which is what GPT is founded off and you can change different bits and pieces. So you can change the length, uh, you can change the temperature, and this controls the randomness, kind of the accuracy, if you like, of what's being creative. For myself personally, I'm just going to keep it on the exact same. Uh, you can play around with this, hence the name Playground, and from there we can start to create things. So if I were to follow along a similar video to what I created in the past, again, if you wanna find out a ChatGPT tutorial, you can click up on this link and it will show you how to use it specifically. I'm gonna ask it to write a model text for year six, which is a biography about Usain Bolt. Excuse the capitals, I'm simply gonna ask it to go. And I think this is way faster than ChatGPT, which is why I'm saying I personally think it's a little bit better. Now, obviously the same rules apply, you can tweak it in a range of different ways, but as you can see, I can then come back, expand on each uh, paragraph. I'm gonna bring up the maximum length a little bit. I'm gonna press submit and it's gonna continue with that. And you can see, as I've asked it to, it's expanding on each paragraph. The list of different ways that you can continue to use this go on. Personally, I have a preference towards this due to the speed, but I like the user experience from ChatGPT. You can then take this, copy and paste all those bits and pieces. You can choose to share it if you want to uh, with other people. And the list of different things that you can do with this goes on. But there we go, there we go. A quick video showing you how to use OpenAI Playground, which is just a fantastic tool and something alternative if you can't get onto ChatGPT. Play around, let me know how you get on with it. Do you prefer it to ChatGPT? Let me know down in the comments. Feel free to subscribe. I make these videos for free. You can always unsubscribe at a later date. And hopefully I'll see you in another video. Until then, I'm out.